Hi, I'm Eddie Conway. I have recently traveled to Brazil to talk to and interview youth from all over South America who was attending a camp in which they were sharing ideas and uh, solutions how to organize and change conditions in their community. The coup against Delhi uh, just occurred, and what's MST's position on it now that it has happened? Então, no Brasil, acho que na sua formação também, e da forma como você constituiu o Estado brasileiro, de forma, um Estado extremamente autoritário, e com uma burguesia extremamente vendida né, para o capital internacional. Então, acho que esse é mais um golpe né, que a burguesia dá toda vez que as classes trabalhadoras se organizam, se mobilizam e começam tomar algum tipo de, de espaço dentro dessa democracia restrita. One of the key things that the youth from South America, all over Brazil and the other uh, nations in South America are organizing and unifying together is to change the government, to put in place a socialist government, a government that's going to be responsive to the conditions of the people on the ground. Well, uh, my name is Julian uh, Gil, I'm part of the Congress of the People of Colombia. This is an organization donde participan muchas organizaciones más de jóvenes, de, de mujeres, de trabajadores, de campesinos, eh, bueno, estudiantes, es un carácter muy variado de la organización. How long have you been doing this? Bueno, yo estoy y también en la organización desde que surgió, que eso es hace cinco años exactamente, en el 2011, con algunas movilizaciones en Colombia, Pero antes de que existiera el Congreso de los Pueblos, participaba en colectivos estudiantiles en el colegio, en la universidad. Ya hace 15 años estoy en el proceso organizativo del Congreso y bueno, de las raíces del Congreso y ahora el Congreso de los Pueblos. Levante has been organizing for about six years. Uh, two years after they started, they had uh, 1,500 youth uh, attended their camp. Um, my name is Henrique, I have 21 years old. And actually, I work as a militant LGBT dentro of a collective in the interior of the state. Is this organization very inclusive of LGBT uh, community? Sim, sim. É, é, quando eu falo coletivo, a gente é um coletivo completamente inclusivo. Né? A nossa ideia é unir as forças LGBTs para lutar contra um, um, um ato, um ato alguns corpos políticos que vem sendo conservador. E assim, dentro do nosso coletivo, a gente tem um acesso muito grande de, de homossexuais e de lésbicas. Mas assim, pela forma da gente se sentir um coletivo inclusivo, a gente vem abrindo muito mais espaço para a questão T, né, do LGBT, que são as pessoas, são as mulheres travestis, mulheres trans e homens transexuais. They're organizing to save the benefits and the gains that were made under President Lula and President uh, Delma, and they're willing to fight to protect those changes, the, uh, those programs. Uh, my name is Débora, I'm a militant for the Bunch of it's a youth organization for the working class in Brazil. Um, I've been part of the movement for the past three years, and the reason why is because I believe it's the right alternative to the working class youth to organize, organize themselves and change society, because the only way to change society is through massive mobilizations of organized people. Well, how is the treatment of women in the organization? Uh, Levante, I believe, from the organizations that I know here in Brazil, are one of the most empowered, empowered, men, empowered uh, organizations for women. We have a sector, 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 sector for women here, 
So women build politics for feminism and we build feminism inside the organization through men and women so everyone is responsible for fighting for the flag of feminism with our protagonism. So I think Levanti, even though he has a lot to grow, he has a lot to learn, he's also very mature on the feminism inside the organization. Well, what's the ultimate goal of the organization? We call it the Project Popular. It's a popular project for Brazil and it means that we want to make structural changes in Brazil society in a way that we can put people in power. Okay, people meaning the masses. Yes, by okay. people uh, in Brazil we say povo, which okay. is it's people but it means people with a, a class uh, perspective. So okay. it's the working class people. The president tenor, in fact, uh, they're they organizing around getting rid of tenor, or uh, they're organizing to uh, try to reinstate uh, Delma. Uh, they thought that was a coup. They thought that the, the right wing uh, has uh, taken over the government and removed the elected officials. Uh, uh, through illegalities. Yeah, my name is Lucas and I work in the operative secretary of, of Alba Movimentos. Alba means a uh, Bolivarian alternative from the people of our America. Our America is important to, to make this point. Our America to the people. And this articulation uh, is a continental articulation and we work with uh, some uh, social movements, unions, organizations, uh, since Argentina to Canada. What do you do with those other movements in those other countries? Yeah, uh, our work is like a organiz organize the struggle uh, beyond the, the continent because we I, I like to think the idea to think the, the politics uh, with fields. We work with the political movements of our fields, of, uh, in Brazil we call popular field. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the movements of all the continent who have agreement with our questions and our definitions you can join ALBA, it's okay. If you agree with uh, our project, you can be part of ALBA. And uh, our work to organize the, the struggle between the continent is something like uh, think the, the think common actions, formation, uh, organization, and struggle. These three points between all the, the continent and coordinate this. You give one political line. Through the through the content, through the movements, through the organizations, and anything else. For the Real News Network, this is Eddie Conway.